Greetings and welcome back to Imperion Alpha 11. All right, I am standing at the moment on the deck of the Wayfarer and uh, it is continuing to uh, become ready to take us to our new home. In the meantime, of course, remember in our last episode, we went through the abandoned uh, factory. However, there was a couple of things in there that I didn't know about. While I was searching and looting the abandoned factory, I did miss a couple of things. One is right where I got the core here. There was the core, and there was this canister. I noticed it when I was previewing on the way out, a flash of purple. Now, I don't think I can get here. Oh, I can. There we go. I don't think there's anything more this way, but then again, we do have purple. All right, and we have a plasma rifle. Ooh, that's cool. An epic plasma rifle and gold. Very important gold. I don't think there was anything more over here or that way, but I did find something else when I was coming down here. Now, if you remember this room, there were a couple of turrets over here, and there were some scorpions that spawned when you came over here. And there was a bunch of these containers around, and I noticed that there was a vent here, so I kind of shot it out, and I found a uh, container over there, a white one. But now that, um, yeah, now that I can just take whatever I want, I was wondering, was there anything hiding back here? And it turns out, well, there kind of was. They love hiding things. So let's just see what else we got. All right, pulse rifle, multi bound two. Okay, just gonna grab, okay, actually not there. Let's switch over to the Atlantis, into this one. Let's just put all that in there, because I can't carry the rest of that. And over here, okay, some fuel, some satium, all right. And of course, the big one is over here, right? Yet another ultra. So let's see. All right, I got another plasma epic and a shotgun. All right, tier two. Okay, that's good because you can't repair them once they're damaged. So, yes, even more hidden rewards in the abandoned factory. And it turns out that I actually missed something else, too. If you remember this room, this is where I fell down here. Uh, turns out that's actually a good tactic because you can just head straight for the core there and not have to deal with anything spawning over here at all. But when I was actually cleaning out the other abandoned factory, you know, I was just kind of like grabbing things on the way out. And I happened to notice that when I was over here, I think it was over here, that when I grabbed something, I noticed, hey, wait a minute, there's something behind there. That's interesting, get out of my way. And there was something useful there. Of course, I searched thoroughly on my way out of the other one, and I didn't find anything else, but like I said, I found this one. And this, oh, that is very useful. Okay, sniper rifle, these, these, very, very useful. Oh, very nice, very nice indeed, very nice indeed. And like I said, I did do a lot more searching, but oh, I didn't find anything, nothing at all, nope. Yeah, once these things are, um, once these things have the uh, generators turned off, uh, you can just do whatever you want with them, you know? Take all kinds of things home with you, you know? But, um, yep, as far as I know, that's all of the hidden secrets. Because that's all I found. Yeah, there were some extra hidden secrets in there. Um, I never cleaned that one out before, so I didn't know about it. Just kind of stumbled on that last one while I was uh, cleaning out the other one. Now, this is the one, you notice it's not purple anymore. That's because, you know, we deactivated it, right? Um, the other one, I think, was down here. Right, that's the other one. So I emptied that one out, too. In terms of what was in it, uh, let's switch over to the Atlantis. I left the stuff in here. So this is everything that I got from there. You can see the, uh, the, the ingots I got from there, and I got like a bunch of gold, which is really good, right? A uh, bunch of weapons. Um, I got two more auto core, um, auto miner cores. Very, very useful. Gonna start making use of those. Most importantly, I got two large optotronic matrix and two small optotronic matrix. So that's gonna make tier four items much easier to get. 
I also got, I got another Epic pistol, but I got this too, an EM pulse rifle, Epic, right? I have two of these, by the way, these are great. You know, 185 per shot, the shotgun is 115, but I'm guessing it does more damage up front, right? But this guy is really good. The problem, of course, is I do have two of them, but you can't repair them. So when they wear down, they're gone. This one, you know, actually this one here, this is the one I was talking about. This one here, it does less damage, but it seems to have a higher rate of fire. So I'm guessing that it's kind of like more of a machine gun type of a thing. So uh, next time we have a situation, I will be testing that out. By the way, I'm just going to move that over there. Were there any other ones? I kept this all in here just so you could see it. I'm going to have to divide this all up and uh, put it in its appropriate places and gather up the guns for sale. Speaking of guns and sale, I'm afraid it's time to um, retire this fellow. Uh, he did well for us. Uh, even, yeah, it's, it's interesting, too, because the, uh, the guy who actually made it, once again, Jay Randall, actually made a new version, too. So it's kind of obsolete. You know, as I said, it did its job. The big problem I had with it is that even after all of this surgery I did to it, you know, it's only got a 3,500. And that's after me doing stuff with it. I got to remember to get all the stuff out of here because I got a bunch of things in here. Do I still have the guns in here? Yeah, yeah, they gotta get the guns. Yeah, I'll get the guns. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get a replacement. Uh, a replacement that's going to be used for something else too. It seems unrelated, but it's actually related. Now, I need two small vessels. We're gonna work on one of them today. This is gonna be my workhorse who's going to be carrying stuff for me, like going back to Julop to sell guns, because I got a lot of tier two guns, right? And that one can warp. Another thing is, well, Here's the thing. Asteroids seem to be popping up at least above this planet, right? So there's actually a lot of stuff up there that I want to get. Now, I could make another capital vessel that uh, could do drilling for me. I might end up doing that. But I can actually make, there's actually a small one that will fit on this deck. Now, the reason that's important is because it doesn't have a warp drive, so it's going to be required for something else to carry it around. So that's something I could and might do in the future. But for now, I've heard something, and I'd like to put it to the test. If nothing else, it sounds fascinating. All right, and to the ground. All right, so I have the, um, I have all of the materials loaded in, and as I said, when you're gonna replace a J. Randall, you replace it with a J. Randall. And that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. All right, so we're going over to here, and that is not what I'm looking at. We're going hover vessel, no, small vessel. Where is it here? It's right there. This is the Skive. I think that's the way you say it, right? So let's throw that in the factory. I already have everything loaded already. It's tier three, so it uses some of these small optotronic bridges, right? And it actually uses a lot of copper, which is kind of a problem. I gotta, gotta, I gotta find a source of copper. I'm kind of hoping to find one in space. That would be very useful. All right, so we're going to start production. Believe me, it's not going to take long. Hey, look, it's done. How about that? All right, so we're going to put this guy down here. And boom. Okay, it's got a low form, which is actually useful considering what I want to use it for. Uh, as a matter of fact, why don't we just go there now? Oh, look, it's got a lot of space over here. I could put something here, couldn't I? Yes, I could. And it's got one of these guys. They call this a, um, a drone hatch. I assume it's because of this. Notice I just pop my head out very quickly and then deployed a drone. That way I'm perfectly safe. Instead of standing on top of my small vessel and possibly falling, right? So, yeah, that's actually very useful. Anyway, um, the one thing at the moment is that it has three of these, right? They're 10,000 each, which is a lot better than, you know, 3,500. But I would really like one, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to um, do surgery to merge them together, you know? So I'll work on that in, in time. And it's got a lot of things, and I don't actually think I have to pull the constructor on this one because it is tier 3, and uh, hold on a second here. I don't think there's a CPU problem. No, barely. 
we're just barely T3, right? So if I needed to yank it, I would do that, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Um, it's not heavily armed, and it doesn't have, like, heavy armor. It doesn't have a shield, because that's not what it's for, right? It's for carrying stuff back and forth, so I would avoid battle. It's got two Gatlins and, I think, two rocket launchers, but like I said, I'm not taking this into battle. It's got a warp drive. That's what it's got, and it's got a lot of carry space and a little spot on top. All right, so first things first. Let's just uh, let's load it up. Um, back over to here. Okay, oxygen. Let's switch over to the... Where is the Wayfarer? Right here. All right, let's just fill it up all the way. Okay, and then what do you got for power? Hold on a second. Let's go over to fuel. Um, all right, fully loaded. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need any pentatsit for this, but you know what? I might as well just throw something in. Might be useful, right? Okay, so that is done. Let's go back to logistics. All right, we're fully loaded, fully loaded, right? Oh, turn the oxygen on. And full lights. I want to see what's going on. All right, so let that fill up. And uh, what I want to do, I've heard that this is possible. We're going to find out if this is possible. All right. All right. Open the door. All right. Uh, since it has a low form here, it's actually rather easy for this thing to get on top. There we go. All right. So let's go to here. Let's even out. And then switch to there. All right. Let's see. That looks good. Down. When we hear the click, we're done. And we're done. Switch to here. Switch to the... Okay, I didn't want to do that one. I usually get my order mixed up. That one, that one, and that one. Okay, so I assume it actually had what I wanted in terms of energy and oxygen. All right, and we're in, and we're closed. By the way, um, since we're heading into space... I uh, put the EVA back in, and I actually put two mobilities in instead of the armor, since we're not going to be doing, like, combat or anything like that. I'm not even loading in the uh, ammo, because I do not want to engage anything. We're just going to go up and see whether or not what I've heard is true. All right, so let's uh, go into space. By the way, this guy's pretty fast. He might be doing the fastest that a um, small vessel can do. I think it's because he's got the big engines. And we are in space. All right. Okay, so let's locate the asteroids. These are the ones that I found already. So I have like a silicon. I got a silicon over here. I got a cobalt. And most importantly, I got a promethium. And that is where we're going. So I'm going to do this. Now, the thing about it is that with asteroids, you really have to see something in the asteroid. Now, I have no idea. I, I think I just got dumb luck with the, um, the silicon because... Even when you're next to it, you can't see it because it's the exact same color as the asteroid. Um, but Prometheum is obviously the easiest to see. I mean, look at Cobalt for a moment. Look at the color there. You see that on an asteroid, it's like, okay, I, I think I can make that out. But if you see bright blue, yeah, you found Prometheum. All right, let's see. That way. This guy's pretty fast in space, too. He's doing 130 that way, and if I do like the thrust for a while, it gets up to uh, 160. Of course, that little circle is dying over there, so... Okay, wait a minute. What is that? Okay, there is the uh, the cobalt down there. You see the little bit of brown? So that that's the cobalt over there. But what is this one? That looks odd. Oh, that is copper. Oh, I will be back. I will be back, assuming this actually works. Um, yes, I will definitely be back. So there's a little cluster around this area here. 
you know. Um, this is usually the area that when I warp back, I get dropped in. So I'm wondering whether or not they made these things more prevalent. All right, so let's, where were we going here? Martha Cobalt one. Because if there's one thing I need more than anything else, it's lots of power. All right, that's the Cobalt one. Where is... I've lost the... Uh, okay, that's that one. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, I just kind of got lost on that one. Right, I mean, when you can see bright blue on an asteroid, you know what you found, right? All right, so I am going to put this to the test. What am I talking about? Well, I've heard that if it's airtight, a hover vessel can function in space. So what I am going to attempt to do is I'm going to attempt to use my uh, moly to mine this asteroid. All right, I want to get closer to it here. All right, so let's see. Let me switch back to the inside. And, okay, and then I'm floating around. Okay, jump jet. Thank you. All right, so you see there's no gravity in a small vessel. So you really need to use your jump jets, right? All right, so let's... Uh, of course, I have a lot of problem with this door at times. I'm hoping that's not going to be a problem. Uh, you know what? I have a solution for that, though. It's called the back door. Okay, am I having problems with that, too? Okay, oh, there we go! I'm outside. All right, and I shouldn't have any problem with heat. Okay, so I'm actually still pretty far away from it. All right, so let's go on in here. Let's put this to the test. All right, he does have oxygen, right? He does indeed. And the other thing I want to do is let's switch Molly to talk to you. And container controller. Right, that one is 10,000. See, I want it all to be, if I can get it up to 32,000 or 30,000, something like that, I'd be very happy. I want one dump location, right? All right. Okay, so my hover vessel is now in space. Now, it doesn't move very fast because, you know, it's just using hover vessels to move around. It's used to floating on the ground. All right. Do you have your lights on? No, you do not. That's better. That's better. All right, let's see how this works. Oh, oh, yep, yep, right there. There we go. Okay, that does seem to be working rather efficiently, doesn't it? Okay, I got 32% in my little box there at the bottom. Now, I'm not saying that I won't eventually get a... a um a capital vessel that drills. I couldn't really put it on either one of the capital vessels I have already. It just doesn't work, you know, the drills. Um, so I'd kind of have to have something that was made with that in mind. All right, hold it a second. Okay, that's, that's not bad for a short period of time, right? But of course, I'm not leaving here until I see every little bit of blue gone because this is a, this is a big asteroid though, right? go you know another thing too is getting a bunch of crushed stone isn't really a bad idea too you know you can just get some crushed stone here right pretty easily right uh, the reason for that is because remember that 15 crushed stone you can use that to make one copper so if I have like thousands of it I could make copper but of course now we found an asteroid which I intend to empty Okay, 62%. All right, just keep keep grabbing all this stuff, right? All right. It's a little bright now, but, you know, the thing about it... Okay, wow. Oh, 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 I'm getting a little bit full. Okay, so we have nearly a full stack already. 
Now again, this would be a lot more convenient and a lot more, uh, a lot faster, I should say, if we had the, the old capital vessel doing this. But I'm still dubious about how often I'm going to be able to do this. Now this is the starting planet, at least the one that I started on. So it could be they just have a lot of stuff here. Besides, I have to make an, a combat vessel, and then I have to start saving up for my big base. Now, getting those tier four items, uh, the large optotronic matrices, are definitely going to help. But I am going to need raw materials, too. Uh, like I said, I'm very concerned about copper. I have just over one stack of it, and there really isn't... You know, the thing about it is you're on these planets and you see very large satium, very large uh, iron, right? And then you'll see small copper. It gets really annoying. It really is. So having an asteroid that's got it is a really good idea. All right, this is... All right, we got some more here. Okay, full stack and then like half of another one, right? And I do believe that this asteroid has a lot of these kind of little patches here. Hold on a minute. Let's grab all of this stuff. Here, let's go over here. Thing is, obviously, it doesn't move too quickly here. I'm doing a whopping uh, three meters per second in space. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a whole bunch over here. I'm going to get all of it, though. I'm not going to stop until it's all mine. I think there's actually another section on the other side, too. So I figure I can get maybe three stacks out of this. So that would be really nice. That would take care of my power problems for a long time. I would then just basically need to have a lot of water because the, uh, the fusion cells, you know, these guys here, these guys here, I can make them now. They require hydrogen, which you get from water, too. So you just mass produce those, and then basically I'll have as much power as I want. Because, you know, the thing about it is uh, the capital vessel, once you turn the shield on, it starts draining power. And I'm guessing that other things would be the same. Wow, there's just a ton of that stuff down there, isn't there? I just want to look around the outside for a second here. I know this would be easier if I got in the small vessel, but... Considering the way things work in space sometimes, I'm concerned with that. Yeah, I'm on the outside here. There's more. And down here, wow, look at that patch. I haven't even touched that yet. Wow. And then it was more around the side over there that I haven't gotten to. So, yeah, because I circled this guy and it was like, it was a ton of it. Just an absolute ton. This will take care of my Prometheum problems for a very long time. Very long time. So much blue. And let me tell you something. I'm not leaving the area without emptying that, um, that copper one, too. So this does kind of work. And I think it will do until I maybe come up with a long-term drilling solution. And that ship is just so far away. At this speed, it's going to take so far to make it. But you know what? We're not done yet. And I do want to send some more of this stuff over here. Yep, yeah, we got nearly a full second stack there. That's already... That's more than I've actually had in the game so far. Right there. So, obviously, I'm going to get every little bit. Every little bit. I'm not stopping until it's all mine. Anyway, as you can see, I have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to be gathering all the Prometheum here, and then at very least, I'm going over to that copper one to get it. I may go to the, um, the silicon ones. See, they're all batched together here, you know? See, I don't even see the, 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 the... Okay, are they just near each other there? Because I don't see the, uh, the copper one here, but I'm certainly not going to forget about it. Yeah, the, um, the silicons, I may do that. Having some extra silicon sounds like a great idea. Who knows, maybe I'll st stumble across another uh, copper, right? Anyway, I think that that is going to be it for now. As you can see, I have a lot of work to do because I want to take all of this home with me because I don't want to have to worry about power again. I'll have to worry about Pentatsit, 
But there is actually a solution to that, and maybe we'll talk about that in the next episode. Anyway, I think that's going to do for now, so thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. Oh. See ya!